Revelation chapter 21. Verse 1 and on. Would you read together with me as I read? Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Read together with me out loud. And there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He, has, he who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Would you close your eyes today morning as we come before God, His holy presence. Father God, I thank you for this precious moment. This moment, Father God, that you have ordained before we were even born. That was written in your book. That was the plan of the infinite God. Lord Jesus, as we, Lord, meditate and ponder upon the scripture, we ask Holy Spirit to enlighten our eyes. Give us wisdom, Lord. Give us insight. And as we hear your voice and listen to your words, let that be written on the table of our tablets of our hearts, Almighty God. We ask everything in your name, Father. Your people are yours and I am yours. Father God, sanctify us. Use us for your glory. In Jesus' name and the church say amen. Amen. You may have a seat in the house of God. Today morning, I want to speak to you about the head title of this message will be, Have You Met the Prince Yet? Amen? What is it called? Have You Met the Prince Yet? In our normal life, in our casual life in this world, if you think about planning things and preparing things, life is all about planning. Life is all about preparing. You can prepare for the expected, but you can never prepare for the unexpected. Am I right on that? Amen. We can always prepare for the expected, but never prepare for the unexpected. But life is all about planning. Amen. We plan from the day we are born, our parents plan, and then when we have the age of maturity and we have the age of understanding, then the planning gets translated from a parent's plate to our plate. Planning comes with responsibility. Am I right on that? We all plan for the expected, but we never can plan for the unexpected. Today's morning, I want to talk to you about have you met the prince yet? There is a, a famous story where I will attach to the end if I have time. And these executives won't come by then. Then I will, I will attach that story of Cinderella. Famous across the world of what happened. Amen. The question is today morning is have you met the prince yet? When we go from one residence to another residence, we always are planning to move. And when we move, we always want to know where we're going to live next. Am I right on that? Amen. Amen. You know, 
We all do all these things in planning for life after the next life. But today morning, as you heard in your hearing, Revelation is a book of prophecy. Amen. It is about who? The prince. Amen. He is coming. Have you met the prince yet? Hallelujah. When this life is over, we will go to a next life. But I want to make sure that you know where your new home is when this life is done. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you met the prince yet? Would you ask your neighbor sitting today morning next to you, have you met your prince yet? Because the moment we meet our prince, life changes. Amen. The moment we meet our prince, then this life is no more a trouble for us. Because we know there is a prince and there are princesses that are sitting here. We have a king and we are his people. But my question today morning is, when this life is over, when it is done completely, and when they sing these songs and bury us into the ground six feet deep, and we wail, and we mourn, and we in pain and agony go back home, one life has ended when another life has already started. Hallelujah. Namade jivatil. Ori jivatami pumil tirumbol. Devam tanda e jivatam. Yerayayal. Yambada. Pinyandua. Kashto. Dukkavum. Vedaneum. Wolu. But see e jivatam. E the jivatama. Kashtadum. Kashtadum. Dukkavum. Amen. Yelatinum. Sun. I had a summary no kumbol. E jivatam. Tirumbol. Where are you with the Namakondana? Vishwasigla and Namaka at the Arni Rikan. Amen. Ariata Kari Malla Pastra, the Inikadaria. But this is a reminder to you today morning. Amen. Sometimes we forget the next life and we are so focused on today's life. You could plan for the expected, but never plan for the unexpected. Amen. There's a reason why, and the reason is very sufficient to understand. Number one, you don't know when it's coming. Number two, if you don't know when it's coming, then how do you prepare for something that you cannot prepare for? Amen? So today morning, have you met the prince yet? Six feet deep. There's a famous song that the songwriter sings. Some glad morning. When this life is over, I will what? Fly away. I will fly away, oh glory. I will fly away. Before you fly away from this earth, from this life, you need to know where you're flying to. Amen? Amen. You need to know where your new residence is. Because in that new residence, there is no baggage. In that new residence, there is no mourning. In that new residence, there is no tears. In that new residence, there is no pain. In that residence, there is no sin. In that residence, it is hallelujah. Oh, praise be to the Lamb of God who sits on the throne. Some glad morning when this life is over and it will be over sometime before you think it is over. Amen. Some glad morning when this life is over, I will fly away. There are three people in the word of God who saw heaven and they came back. Number one, it is Jesus. Number two, it is Apostle John. Number three, it is Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. They saw heaven and they came down. Amen. Amen. That Apostle Paul was taken to the third dimension of heaven and he sees everything in heaven and he comes back and he says, it is so hard to express with words. Amen. 
നമ്മൾ പുതിയ ഭവനം ആണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ പറയും വളരെ നല്ലതായിരുന്നു നാലായിരം സ്ക്വയർ ഫീറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് മൂന്ന് ഗരാജ് ഉണ്ട് അഞ്ച് ബാത്റൂം ഉണ്ട് ആറ് ബെഡ്റൂം ഉണ്ട് അവിടെ ഫയർ പ്ലേസ് ഉണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ചിമ്മിനി ഉണ്ട് ഐ മീൻ അവിടെ പാൻട്രി ഉണ്ട് അവിടെ ബ്രേക്ക്ഫാസ്റ്റ് നുക്ക് ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് എല്ലാം പറയാം പക്ഷേ അത് പറഞ്ഞു തീർക്കാതെ സന്തോഷം സ്വർഗത്തിൽ പറയുന്നത് എനിക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു തീർക്കാൻ വയ്യ അത് വാക്കുകൊണ്ട് ഉച്ചരിക്കാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല അത് വാക്കുണ്ട് അതിനെ കമ്പയർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻഎക്സ്പ്രസിബിൾ ടു സ്പീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ചാപ്റ്റർ ട്വന്റി വൺ വേഴ്സ് വൺ സെസ് ലൈക് ദിസ് ദൻ ഐ സോ ന്യൂ ഹെവൻ ഹൂസ് റൈഡിംഗ് ദിസ് ബുക്ക് ജോൺ വേർ ഇസ് ഇ റൈഡിംഗ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ലവ് പാറ്റ്മോസ് ഹി വാസ് എക്സൈൽഡ് കിക്ട് ആർ ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ടു ആൻ ഐലൻഡ് ഏമാൻ നാട്ടിലെ നമ്മുടെ ആൻഡമാൻസ് നിക്കോബർ ഐലൻഡ് എൻ്റെ പിതാവോട് ഫോറസ്റ്റ് റേഞ്ചറായി വർഷങ്ങൾ മണി വാസ് യങ് ഹി വർക്ക് ദർ ആൻഡമാൻസ് അവിടെ ജയിൽ പുള്ളികളെല്ലാം നാട് കടത്തി വിടുന്നുണ്ട് വിടുന്ന സ്ഥലം ദിസ് മാൻ വാസ് ഡീപോർഡ് ഹി വാസ് എക്സൈൽഡ് കിക്ക് ആർ ദ കൺട്രി ഫോർ സ്പീക്ക് ഇൻ ദ വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ഏമാൻ ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ഐലൻഡ് ഓഫ് എക്സൈൽ ദൈവത്തിന് ദോ ദിവസത്തിൽ അവൻ എന്തുവായി ആത്മ ഓ ഹാലി ലൂയ അപ്പം ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സാന്നിധ്യം എവിടെയും വരാൻ കഴിയും ഏമാൻ ആ പത്മോസ് ദ്വീപിൽ അവൻ ഏകനായിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ വെളിപ്പാട് പുസ്തകം പറയുന്നു നമുക്ക് റെവലേഷൻ എംഫസൈസസ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ദിവസത്തിൽ ഞാൻ ആത്മ വിവേശനായി and he began to write these great revelations that he has seen and today we are holding the manuscript of the word of god hallelujah then i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea i saw the holy city the holy city is what new jerusalem new jerusalem is the capital of the new earth amen Hallelujah. In Texas we have a capital. What is that? Austin. In New York we have a capital. What is that? Albany. Amen. New Jersey we have a capital. What is that? Trenton. I should say that sad at least. Amen. Hallelujah. But this earth will have one capital. That is New Jerusalem. Dear church members, may I welcome you to your new home. in new jerusalem amen? amen that is where you will live when the trumpet of the lord sounds amen a kagalam dhonikkumbol a kagalam kekkumbol aadi mare uyarthu nekkunathu christuvil mariche vare aaru uyarthu nekkum they have the first preference the second is for who pinde jeevanode sekshikkuna aa nammal jeevanode sekshikkum arigathilla പക്ഷേ ദൈവിതമാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ജീവിതം ശേഷിക്കുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഏമേൻ പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ ഈശ്വർത്താവിനോട് പോകും എവിടെ പോകും ദിസ് ഇസ് യു ന്യൂ റെസിഡൻസ് ഐ ലിവ് ഇൻ ടു സെവൻ വൺ ഫോർ നിക്കൽ കാനിയൻ ഡ്രൈവ് റോഷ ആവൻ ടെക്സ് സെവൻ സെവൻ ഫൈവ് എ ത്രീ അപ്പോൾ ട്രംപ് ലോഡ് സൗണ്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അബാൻഡൻ ഏമേൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗോൺ ബി ഫോർ ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ഹലോ ലൂയ ഇസ് നോ ബഡി ദർ എനി മോർ ഏമേൻ ഏമേൻ ബട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഡെറ്റ് വിൽ ബി നാ ഇൻ മൈ നെയിം ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് പേഴ്സൺ നെവർ എക്സിസ്റ്റ് എനി മോർ ഹിസ് ക്ലോസ് ആർ ദർ his cars are there his baby's stuff is there but this person is no longer sitting or living in this residence why because he was transported from here to the new jerusalem to the new home amen amen in the davile kalam pratyasha ullu ellu namakku karangal vidhiya stotram cheyidatte hallelujah so today morning i want to speak about your new home amen you know john says in revelation 21 verse 1 Actually when you go to 24 21 verse 5 it says like this and here it he who was seated on the throne said i make everything new everything is what new we all like new things amen pudhiya kaaryam kittumbol namakku velli aagrama adane kalikkan adane thodan അതെ തിരുമാൻ എല്ലാം നമുക്ക് രണ്ടു മൂന്ന് ദിവസം ഉറക്കമില്ല കാനം കൂടി ചേർന്ന് ഉറങ്ങുന്നു കൊച്ചു കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളായാൽ നമ്മളെ അങ്ങനല്ലയോ ആ ടോയ് മേടിക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിന്റെ പുറകെ ഒരു രണ്ടു മൂന്ന് ദിവസം പിന്നെ അതിന്റെ അതിന്റെ കണി പോലും കാണുന്നില്ല 
Amen. Hallelujah. Pinnya ada ni address sila. Ada ni wonder chart apa terjadi kau? Ada ni wonder trunk apa terjadi kau? Pinnya ada ni anda. Pinnya pudiya kari pinnya mana? Entah manusia mati tu. Amen. Yang aku kari jojo te. Mungkin manusia mati tu lipu miji bikan. Amen. Hallelujah. Mungkin manusia mati tu beri ni lio. Aling aling mati tu beri um. Praya yang kudun cilen. Dah me ni edtu orang ni apa ni berani? Amen. Hallelujah. Namun semua Sunday yang berani. Aam ini seperti apa? Abang really begum berani gagal mandor, setotram. Hallelujah, Amen. Julie kalau ni nak kena, ini ini Julie dah ikut macam ini jiwik kan? Apa orang Julie Amen kereta abang begum berani berani al, kereta abang ipu biji biji tu orang ni tu boleh mila. Hallelujah. Apa orang ni nak kecik kecik nak kena gagal mandor, pasca prime macam nak kerja berani, jiwan jiwik tu, maklui kandu, kac maklui kandu. Kata mana boleh cuci? Awal itu orang yang itu, awal itu orang yang ni boleh cuci. Ini yang dua abe, kami. Berapa nama api dah abe? Ini dah abe kalim. Nggak parah yang bol. Satu yang parah yang mau kereta abe. Ibu mina wasam ti yang bol. Angun yang celi mina betul. Praise God, Hallelujah. Amen. Awal dek kerja mila, dukka mila, pabatin dek kerja mila. Amen, Hallelujah. But we know one thing, Hallelujah. There is perfect love. It is beautiful. It is perfect worship. Why? Because the Lamb of God is sitting on His throne. Namu kuri dukkumu paru mila, ura kada mila, namu kund mila, auru veriwa aradi kwa aradi kwa aradi kwa tirat aradina. Ini dah beri kalim cinti cinti ke? Namu le dewi batende, waliya waliya walsle morkum bol, snega morkum bol, yatras tuhi cale madhi agatilla. This city. This holy city, which is coined as New Jerusalem, which is the capital of the new earth. Because the word of God says in 21 verse 1, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away and there's no longer any sea. There's nothing there. The old, which is what we sit today, what we breathe today, what we live today, what we agonize today is all gone. There's a new thing that God is creating. And he's making it as we speak and worship God. Because the word of God says, I am going home to prepare a place for you. Vishuddhan mara cerkana. Kristiani cerkana la dewi beranda. Vishwas kala cerkana dewi beranda. Amen. Because there's a lot of Christians, but they're not. They don't have to be a believer. Amen. There's a lot of worshippers. There's a lot of pastors. There's a lot of priests. There's a lot of actions. But the only thing is this: every action is not an action. Every pastor is not a pastor. Every believer is not. Don't, don't have to be a real believer. Amen. So, selected I all kind of turn your pana. I didn't do. I am not the number one donor in the valley on the examine. She's the one run all that. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the word of God says this city has 12 gates. When you go through the word of God in verse uh, 8, it says, But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral. Those who practice magic arts, idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Amen. So the residence for the evil is already prepared. Amen. But he went, our Savior went to prepare a place for his people. Amen. Now watch this. This city has great things we have to read about. Verse 9, one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said to me, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain, great and high, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. When it says out of heaven from God, that means the old is gone. It is coming down from heaven to establish its residence on the earth. Which earth? The new earth. Amen. We understand that, right? 
Okay, let's go forward. When we go forward, it says like this, verse 12, it had a great high wall with 12 gates and with 12 angels at the gates. On the gates were written the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east, three on the north, three on the south, three on the west. The wall of the city had 12 foundations and on them were the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb of God. When you see 12 gates, that talks about the 12 tribes of Israel. When you see 12 jewels, it talks about the 12 apostles. Amen. So what's happening in this great city of God in New Jerusalem? There is the Old Testament worship and the New Testament apostles coming together. Amen. And worshiping God who is the only word worthy of worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is where your new residence is. Church of God, as we come before His presence. You know, I want to talk to you about one thing before I close and give the man of God respected time to speak. Cinderella, and I'm jumping really to the end of my sermon just to capture my topic. Because my topic was what? Have you met the prince yet? Amen. In Cinderella, famous story across the world. All the little children know it. All the youngsters who were born in this generation, in this time of the era know it. Cinderella had a wicked stepmother and a wicked sister. Is that right? And this wicked stepmother and wicked sister always gave her a hard time. Always made her feel unworthy. Always did the worst to her. But one day she escaped and she went to a place in the morning. And this morning time, as she went to this place, she met somebody. Amen. Who was that? The prince. Amen. This is a love story, but, but I want to apply this today morning because my topic was, have you met the prince yet? Amen. I'm going to connect it together with the word of God. So pay attention before I close. Okay. So as this, as the Cinderella's there, then during the nighttime, she had to escape away, but left her clear crystal sandals there. And the prince took the sandals. And is in search for this princess. He could not find her, but she was still what? He was what? Still what? Searching for who, where she is. But when she came back home, and it became nighttime, she came back to the wicked stepmother and the wicked sister. But now things have changed. Because I want you to watch this and understand this. When she went to this great place to see this great person. And when she came back, there was two different people. When she came back, she understood that she met what? The prince. When she came home, the wicked stepmother is there. The wicked sisters are there. So the formula has not changed. The circumstance has not changed. Her situation has not changed. But one thing that changed in her mentality and in her heart was that I met the prince. And one thing that she did was when each time the wicked stepmother and the wicked sister gave her trouble, she faced the trouble with the hope that one day I will meet the prince again. Amen. When she was scrubbing the floor, she was scrubbing it with joy because one day I'm going to meet the prince again. One day when the pain is going through triumphal triumphs in our life and is getting to its climax period, she knows that I have met the prince today. My question today morning, church of God is, have you met the prince yet? Because if you met the prince, if you meet the prince, then this life is no more a trouble because one day we will reunite again one day we will hear the trumpet sound one day there's a new home that you and I will be translated from one day is that day that is unexpected are you ready hallelujah 
Have you met the prince yet? Have you met the prince yet? But one day is that day at hand. One day is that day that we will rejoice together. New Jerusalem. Please come. Don't be late. Please don't be left behind. Because there's a tribulation that is waiting. There is trials. The enemy is pushing our way. That wicked stepmother is the devil. I could translate it right now. The wicked sister is the demons around her. But she lived amongst that evil time. But she knew, I met the prince. Church of God, have you met the prince yet? ஒரு ட்ரெடிஷனல் வர்ஷப் ஆக்கி தீர்க்காத சண்டே நம்ம என்ன செய்யணும் நம்ம வந்து பத்து மணிக்கு ஆராதனைக்கு போவோம் பன்னிரண்டுக்கு வீட்டுக்கு போவோம் சோறு கழிக்கும் மீன் கறி கழிக்கும் வீட்டுக்கு போய் உறங்கும் பின்னே நம்ம ஜீவிதம் அங்கே போவோம் அல்லாத ஒரு சைக்கிள் பிரேக் செய்து இந்த ராவிலே காலம் ஹிருதயங்களுமாய் ஆத்மார்த்தமாய் பிரார்த்திக்காமோ சத்த சந்திதியாய் பிரார்த்தமே சத்திய சந்திதியாய் பிரார்த்திக்காமோ என் தெய்வமே நான் நின காணன போல காணാൻ அறியண்ட போல அறியാൻ அனுபவிக்கன போல அனுபவிக்கാൻ இமே இந்த ராவிலே காலம் இடை ஆக்குவானെങ്കിൽ என் ஆராதனை ஆயம் மாற்றப்படும் என் ஸ்தோத்திரங்கள் மாற்றப்படும் கர்த்தா ും